What's up ladies and gents? Now this is going to be a video explaining what you can do if you're in a lucid dreaming rut. And when I say rut, what I mean by that is like if you have been trying for a while and you just find that maybe you've had some success in the past, right? You've had a couple of times when you've realized you're dreaming and you know what you're doing, but then for some reason it just all disappears. It stops, right? And this happens with everything. You know, if you play guitar, um, I don't know if some of you notice my, my little Ibanez in the background there. Um, sometimes, you know, you'll practice and practice and you'll get as good as you can get and you'll reach sort of like a plateau um, where you just don't feel like you're improving. And you're you're thinking, well, what do I do? You know, I'm, I'm practicing, I'm, I'm doing all the exercises, I'm, I'm training myself here, but I just feel like I'm stuck. And uh, a few of you have been emailing me saying, you know, Stefan, I'm stuck. I don't know how to like progress. Uh, I've been practicing all this stuff and I just don't know why none of it is clicking for me. And there's a number of reasons that this could be happening. Uh, so I'm going to go through a few things you can do uh, and then hopefully you'll start sort of breaking out of the rut and getting more lucid dreams, having more fun, sleeping better, the whole, the whole works. Okay, so the first thing that you can try and do is say you do normally five reality checks a day, try doubling that. Um, but then also try, it's much like um, weight training for, for gaining muscle. You sort of need to, sometimes you need to shock your system and sort of try different things so that you don't get used to one particular pattern or one particular routine. Okay, so, so for example, if you normally do five reality checks a day, try doubling that and then maybe going a week without doing any. And then the next week after that, do five again. And then the week after that, maybe do 10, 20 a day. Um, and really try and mix things up with all aspects of this. So if you're doing, if you're practicing different techniques, try a different technique each day and then maybe a different set of techniques the next week and then maybe the next week after that do one technique for the whole week. Um, hopefully you get the idea and this makes a bit of sense for you. Just try and mix things up and what this will do is it will shake up your your routine and your um, your sort of patterns because what's probably happening is internally like if you're really trying to do this and you're really trying to practice and have a lucid dream as fast as possible, which obviously that's the goal, right? Um, what can sometimes happen is you can become so focused on wanting to make it happen that you you just sort of hold yourself back and you stop yourself from actually doing it. Uh, you, it's like you, you're focusing on it too much, almost. So sometimes you just need to take a break. And then when you come back to it, just try mixing things up. You can't get what you've never had by doing what you've always done. I don't know if you've heard this quote before, but what it means is, in terms of lucid dreaming, is that if you've been doing the same thing for a long time and it's not been working, then you should probably try something different. You should probably try and mix your techniques up, try approaching it a different way, uh, and hopefully this will get you to sort of break through that rut that you might have been having. Um, alongside this, obviously make sure you're still doing the basics, writing your dreams down every morning, meditating, doing the reality checks, doing different techniques, obviously reading up about lucid dreaming. I've got lots of free articles on my site, howtolucid.com. Watching these videos, watching other videos, um, watching other YouTubers, you know, don't, don't just watch me and take everything I say as, as like the law, okay? It's different interpretations of this thing. So go and watch Giz Edwards, go and watch Reese Jones, go and watch all these other awesome lucid dreaming YouTubers and get their perspective and sort of get a blend of ideas. So hopefully this has helped you and I'll see you in the next video. Go ahead and check out my links as well, by the way. There's some cool little, there's like a whiteboard course um, for beginners in lucid dreaming. There's like a, an animated whiteboard course. If you if you go on my description here, you can see more information about that. And that's going to help some, those of you who are new, who want to just get started and want some like a, a, a structured plan to follow uh, in order to learn how to lucid dream for the first time. There's also some links to some books and some other things, resources that might help you. Um, so yeah, go ahead and leave a comment. I like the fact that you guys are commenting more in these videos. <laughs> it's good to get some feedback. So um, thanks for that, and I'll see you in the next video.